standings last year. So still trying to make it to the tour championship for the first time, Brandon. Rich, you ever go uh, visit a teacher? You know, you go into their studio and they have pictures of golf swings up on the on the wall, right? It's in there. You, you, you stand there and you look at it and feel like you're in a museum. If I were a teacher, I'd have uh, pictures of his golf swing up on the wall. I would. It's just so exceptional. It's so spot on. It's just absolutely gorgeous. It's uh, really hard to find fault with this move. I mean, I can appreciate the idiosyncratic moves of a Jim Furyk or a Lee Trevino, certainly. But when you see something that has this kind of geometric precision to it you know I, if i were out there on the range I'd, I'd stop and i'd watch the swing and i'd think all right that doesn't look that hard uh, he's on track to have the best driving week of his life uh, and he'd love to have the finish that he had yesterday he made a nice birdie at 14 which is no easy task almost 500 yards up the hill then birdied 16 17 and 18 and of course he began this year with a nice win at the fortinet that's his third win and going into that weekend, he was in 24th place and closed with 65-65. So having a heck of a weekend as well. And let's see if he can uh, wrap it up with a nice Sunday to maybe get his fourth victory. Spirited guy, good sense of humor, great presence on social media. I mean, this is yes. a young man who did stand-up comedy at his eighth grade talent show. A uh, huge L.A. Dodgers fan. Not many that can say they received a congratulatory phone call from the late, great Dodgers skipper, Tommy Lasorda, as Max did <laughs> after he... I don't think I've ever heard you do Tommy Lasorda. As Tommy Lasorda, the Dodgers skipper. Uh, and, and so uh, that came after he won for the first time on tour at the Wells Fargo in 2019. Just you mentioned that swing. He's tall but not 